Good morning, good afternoon, good evening Linux lovers and everyone around the world. My name is Walid Hassan and here is my next video on Linux Capsules channel. We are still within the second capsule. What we can do with what is called files. Section 2. Where are the files? As described in section 1, all files on a Linux system are stored on file systems which are organized into a single inverted tree of directories known as a file system hierarchy. Now let's talk about two things that are used for locating files, the absolute path and relative path. To go through that topic, let me show you a drawing that describes the file system hierarchy. Let me show you first how it looks like in a very small and simple picture from a Windows system. In this sample Windows system hierarchy, you can see that there is at the top of the picture the root of the hierarchy, which is in that case the Windows partition, for example, C partition. Within that partition, there are many folders such as program files, program files, x86, windows, temp, users, program data, and so on. Of course, in normal environments, there are many other folders. Within the users folder, you can see the usernames that exist or added to that system, such as public, capsule 1, 2, and 3. Also, within program files, there are some folders such as Microsoft Office, Windows Apps, Windows PowerShell, and some other folders. For each user of Capsule Users, you can see within this folder there is another folder called Desktop for each of them. If there is a file called hello.txt, that exists on the desktop for those users, capsule 1, 2, and 3. The absolute path to that file would be C, partition, then users, then the username, for example here capsule 1, then desktop, then the file name, hello.txt. This is called the absolute path, which starts with C partition, users, capsule 1, desktop, hello.txt. C users, capsule 2, desktop, hello.txt. And the same for capsule 3 users. As shown below, three files called hello.txt exist. There is no conflict, however, because they are in different directories, their fault path name are different. Let's move to the Linux one. For Linux, it is somehow similar in hierarchy. Just replace the Windows partition C with the root partition slash. Then use that slash as separator in the name. Using the same example for Windows system, if there is a file called hello.txt that exists on desktop for the users capsule 1, 2, and 3, the absolute path for that file, for example, will be slash, then home, then Capsule 1, then desktop, then the file name. The absolute path will be written as slash 
home slash capsule one slash desktop slash hello dot text. The same for other file. Three of them exist with the same name, different path slash home slash capsule two slash desktop slash hello dot text. And the same for capsule 3. No conflicts, the path is different. In Windows systems, we might have different partitions, which might be the same as partition C, but with different contents. In Linux, it is just one root partition. Let me use another color. Slash. This is the root partition. We can have different file systems, which is considered different partitions, but all start with the root slash. For example, slash etc, slash dev, slash boot, slash bin, slash root, slash run, slash sbin, and so on. Now, as we describe the hierarchy, let's talk about two things that used to find a file, absolute path and relative path. 